Hey everybody, they're really here. Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Amnesia Memories. And in the last episode, we got the good ending for Ukyo. So in this episode, we're going to go for his normal ending and his bad endings. So this might not be just one episode. We might go ahead and make this two because Ukyo has a lot of bad endings, I think. <laughs> and I don't know how long it's going to take to read through all of them. Yeah, this episode will start out with a normal one. And gosh darn it, if I wasn't right, where we have to basically say we don't forgive him for our very last choice. So you can just sit back, relax, let me read you a story, and let me find that save so we can pick up from where we were before. I can't forgive him. We went through all that for nothing. I see. Okay, I don't blame you. I think that's only natural. So, my role ends here. The rest is... It is my job to finish off Ukyo. Really, I apologize for what I did to you. All of Ukyo's sins are my fault. I will carry that burden. Now go home, to the world in which you existed. The world that I died in? I... Ukyo... This is wrong! Uh. Huh? Oh my gosh! Someone, go call the doctor! Where am I? The hospital? What happened to me? Someone discovered me, unconscious on the campus of Mioga University, where there had been an explosion. Ever since then, though I hadn't suffered any major injuries, I remained unconscious. I woke up three days later. The test results indicated that I was fine and ready to be discharged immediately, but I still didn't know the reason why I was there. Are all my memories intact? All right, we will now celebrate the relief return from the hospital and get back to work. Goodbye. I'm just gonna let the game do that, cheers. I'm so glad you were safe. It was such a relief to hear that you were okay. I went to visit you while you were in the hospital, but they said I couldn't see you. Rika fainted. Drama queen. She wanted to visit, but since she's still getting over a cold, she held back. Why don't you message her later? But seriously, I wonder why you were found over there unconscious. When I heard the news, I couldn't believe it. I know, right? I thought there was some kind of mistake. Ah, at school at night. Were you on a date? Hey, she's not you, Ikyu. She's upset. Look at her. I wasn't upset, but I just couldn't remember what happened that day. I felt like I was with someone, but... Maybe I had just imagined it. Well, this is a private event, so just relax. Oh, right. Do you know Ukyo do really? Mm. Huh? Ukyo? He hasn't come by the cafe lately. Have you heard from him lately? I guess not. He seems to be really busy. Maybe he went out of the country. So his body wasn't found there? Who's Ukyo? Aww. This sucks! Wait, what? Why are you crying? Huh? Oh, I wonder why. I'm not sad at all, but tears keep... I am sad! I am sad! Feel my pain, me! Hey, Shin, watch it! Don't make a girl cry! He didn't do anything. <laughs> Who do you think you're talking to? I didn't do anything. No, it's not Shin's fault. I'm fine. This is so strange. Hey, come take a look at this. The manager's new creation. This cake is delicious. Thanks. I'll be over in a minute. I was there, surrounded by a group of kind people. And I should have felt happy, so why did I cry? What was making me sad? What? Was I grieving? Something in the tears spilling over my hands was important to me, but I didn't even know what it looked like. All I felt was a sense of loss, left in my heart. So I said, Goodbye. 
to no one. A silent farewell. I hated that ending. Honestly, I think I would like the bad endings better than I liked that ending. I prefer to be killed by Ukyo, thank you very much. Alright, so we go back to save 4 for this. Oh, now I'm the normal ending master. Woohoo! Alright, so here I'll start noting the choices for those of you who want to go through these. Dot dot dot. Darili, what are you doing? Hurry and run for it! If you didn't exist. Darili, what? Darili! Uh, uh. Huh? What now? Uh, huh? And uh, here I say... No? Ah, uh, okay, good. You know, I'm telling you, if you just approach me unguarded like that while I'm asleep, that's no good. Yes, I've learned that. So I can approach you when you're awake? Are you homeless? <laughs> Did I used to have feelings for you? What? H hey, that's not good. That question is just way too suspicious sounding. That beats me. I don't know how you felt. Nor is it something I should answer for you. But what I can tell you is that I love you. You are more precious to me than anyone in this world. That is more of a reason that you shouldn't come near me. But that doesn't make sense. What? Your memories are returned? Not really. Just a few. I'll talk it over with Ukyo. Maybe we shouldn't go. And yup yup. Alright, got it. So, let's just hang out at home then. Oh, did you hear that sound? I wonder if the fireworks have started. My hometown doesn't have any fireworks, so I've never seen too much of them, really. Ah, Lucky, you're so beautiful. I wonder if we could see them better if we went outside. Hey, do you want to go outside for a little bit? Can't we just look out the window? We could go somewhere discreet, somewhere around the area. Just a little bit. Or no. And now it's safer not to... We should probably stay inside. Aw, boo! But I guess you're right. Now isn't the time to be watching fireworks. You're so serious. Huh. That's how we stay alive. Don't worry about it. I think it was just a prank. I think he's a bit scary. Sometimes. I see. I wouldn't blame you. There are times when even I feel worried by the way he acts. Then maybe it is in our best interest to stay away from him. Oh crap, it's almost time for our break to end. Let's get back. Let's stay home today. Oh, r really? So you're going to sit here at home? Well, I guess. <laughs> so we didn't- oh, one hour later. We're bored. Oh, someone's here. I wonder who it is. Whoa, why are they... Sorry for visiting you without calling first. I wanted to talk to you in person right away, so I just came over. Good morning. I heard from Mina yesterday, so someone from the fan club threw a water balloon at you. Ah, uh, that... I asked all the club members, however, none of them admitted to it. So I couldn't even find the culprit myself. I feel so bad for not having enough influence. I tried asking them which members were at the cafe the other day, but none of them knew. I'm so sorry. I scolded everyone to make sure this would never happen again, but I don't know how effective it will be. Yeah, you're losing your grasp here, lady. If we can discover who the culprits are, I can punish them to the point that they regret they were ever born. You're scary. Therefore, Darili, if something happens again, please be sure to contact me. 
If I can determine which group she belonged to, I will never allow any of them to do such shameful things as to bring water balloons at someone's back. So, um, I was going to tell Iki about what happened, but... Oh, I stopped her. Nothing good will come of Mr. Iki's knowing this. If he found out, I don't think he would forgive the club members who did it. And if Mr. Iki brings up the situation directly, then there's a chance that the bullying will get worse. If that happens, I'm sure Mr. Iki would be sad. He'd be upset that his fans were that foolish. But that's not all. There are a few good people who seriously care for Mr. Iki. And if Mr. Iki cannot see through all of this, and ends up hating every member of his fan club, it would be a tragedy. I wouldn't really call that a tragedy. <laughs> exactly. And therefore, Dorelli... I feel just awful about what happened to you, but please do not tell Mr. Iki about this incident. Should anything happen to you, I will rush over immediately. I vow to protect you. So please, I beg of you. Fine. Well, that was surprising. It was such a strange partnering of people that I wasn't sure what happened. But it seems like both Rika and Mine are good girls. When I first met Rika, I didn't know how to react because she was so intense, but... This house belonged to my grandfather who adored me. When I was in elementary school, my grandfather passed away and left this house. Why are we reading this again? I loved it here. I had so many happy memories. But the city decided that this house would be torn down in order to widen the streets. I tried my hardest to fight it, but I couldn't do much since I was only in elementary school. I was taken out of the country with my parents' transfer, and I left Japan without being able to see what happened to this home. It's been 15 years since then. I thought this house had been long destroyed, but... It's still here. Ah, that's right. The building itself is very unique. It was deemed an important cultural site, not to be torn down. I read it in a book. I wanted to see the house, so that's why I've come back. And he's here. It feels like I was able to reunite with my grandfather again. I'm so happy right now. So... You probably realized that I was crying from the beginning. But I think you pretended that you didn't notice. I mean, who likes being seen crying, you know? You must have felt bad for me. Thank you. Man, who would have thought a girl would see me crying right after my return here? I did not anticipate that. My name is Ukyo, and you are? Me? I... I'm... Is there a reason we reread all that? August 16th. Good morning. Hey, what you just saw, or rather, the dream you just had. It was a memory, wasn't it? Oh good, you finally got back a memory. This step may be small in relation to your memories overall, but it's still a big step for us. We know that the memories can return in fragments. So that must have been a memory between you and Ukyo, right? Just as Ukyo said, you and he met in Kobe. I hope you can keep getting back your memories like this. Here you go. Oolong tea. Mine, take it to table 8. I don't know why they had me reread all that, but in case there was something different in it, I'll leave it in the video. Are you accustomed to Japanese culture? I just feel like walking around. Okay, then I'll just follow you quietly. I wish you'd just be normal. <laughs> Me too. Huh? There's a group of people gathered over there. Oh, it's Iki and Shin. Oh boy, are they shooting still? So, now we're at two and two, Iki. You sure are hanging in there. Oh, I thought I could keep the gap bigger. I'm pretty focused. As for you, Iki. <laughs> Iki, you're so wonderful. I think I'm going to faint. Shin, I guess you're just alright, but still cool. You better lose to Iki. Oh, what? 
<laughs> You're so mean! I wonder whether this angle would be better for taking a photograph. Hey, all of you watching him! Be gone from here! <laughs> Aren't they sort of the reason why your aim is off? <laughs> You're messing with him! <laughs> Hearts versus spades! Wow, there were a lot of people watching. So many girls gathered to see him. So next... Whoa, manager! How can you get so many goldfish with just one paper spoon? Technically, I suppose this isn't a spoon as much as it is a scoop. Anyway... These brave warriors are all awaiting salvation. I'm going to put my life into this scoop. <laughs> Kinda sweet though, he's rescuing these goldfish. Woohoo! You're awesome! Um, no. This isn't scooping someone to safety. <laughs> but it's so sweet! I really want to route with the manager. Anyways, last pair. Oh, Kent looks a little bummed. He was in the lottery group, right? I guess he lost. Ugh, who would have thought that there were some false connections from the start? Then the probability theory is useless here. Yeah, that happens a lot. For the best prizes, there are dummy strings attached, so no matter how much you pull, it's made so you can't win it. But I got what I wanted, so I'm pretty happy. What you wanted? There was something you actually wanted from there? Yeah, a remote-controlled car. The old kind. They reused prizes from a long time ago, so this is pretty rare. So rather than the brand new game console, I was going for this one from the get-go. That's pretty smart. <laughs> Diamonds versus Clover. That wasn't really a competition, though. <laughs> Poor Kent. Man, you can see everyone's personalities. Yep, I love it. I ended up having fun. It was back to the basics for me. It was quite enjoyable. Wait, I just realized the manager wore his work outfit to the festival. I guess they didn't have time to, to give him a casual outfit. Yeah, the owner of the fish scoot stall was crying. Oh, You were so awesome! I thought I was going to fall in love! Thank you, Sala. But if you want to fall in love with me, you'll first need to be on time. <laughs> Aww. Damn, Shin. The surprising dark horse. He probably just got distracted by all his fans. Well, I wouldn't have challenged you if I sucked. <laughs> Normally, I wouldn't let anyone who defeats Mr. Iki slide, but... Iki looks so cool with his upset face. <laughs> and therefore, I suppose I can forgive you. I must hurry home and back up these photos. Those two are creepy. <laughs> well, one of them at least. Kent, are you still thinking about it? No, it's not about having a prize. On the contrary, it's beneficial for the owner to be able to reuse prizes. But, wouldn't it be more effective if you increased the number of prizes made from the rotation better and entice customers from other vendors? Well, that is one technique, but normal people wouldn't go for that. Why not? Why? <laughs> Why don't we have some shaved ice and call it a night? Is that the only reason? I'll stay inside, again. Oh, if that's the case, why don't we check out the plans that you would have had? There might be something written in your journal, or maybe something in your notebook. 30 minutes later? Wow, that was unexpected. Didn't think we'd find it so soon. We found something? In your journal from June, it says, Be sure to make reservations for the hotel in August by the end of July. So, I guess you were planning on a trip around this time. And the prices are all listed here. 
the round-trip airfare, and hotel price. The flight isn't that expensive, so it can't be very far. I wonder if it's Kobe. But I don't see any hotel name that was reserved, so does that mean you didn't end up making any reservation in July? I don't know when you decided on shifts, but if you made it before you met Ukyo, maybe you were trying to save up money. Oh, a guest! Hello! Oh, you're here. Shin, wh what do you want? Hey, do you think you can lend me that reference book you were talking about the other day? Reference book? I wonder what he's talking about. Any clues to really? You promised, remember? The one you used when you were still in high school. I don't remember! You mentioned it would be helpful since we were going to apply for the same college. Oh, then does that mean Shin is applying to Mioga? <gasps> Memory! Wait, whoa! Thanks for helping me study. I wasn't planning to depend on you two so much. Don't worry about it. I'd be happy if you came to Mioga. Why don't you take the same seminars as me? They're tough, but pretty interesting. <laughs> Real funny. Taking the same courses as you, I'd be a future lawyer or something, right? How about no? Well, it wouldn't be limited to just law, but something in that direction. And besides, I don't want to still be hanging out with you and Darily when I'm in college, you know. Why not? We're cool. What? You're a killjoy, you know that? But then again, I'm actually pretty busy, so I wouldn't always be able to see you anyway. You seriously need to grow out of that big brother stuff. Well, I think I'm growing out of it in my own way. You're more like a brother that lives far away from us now. Lately, at least. Well, come to think of it, yeah, uh-huh. When we were kids, we hung out every day, the three of us. Ah, I see. You, Toma, and Shin are childhood friends, huh? It's a bit late for us to find out something this major, but I'm surprised we didn't get caught all this time. But I'm glad we were able to remember. This seems to be a pretty important memory, don't you think? Hey, what's the matter? Whoa, crap, we were in the middle of a conversation. Uh, reference book, huh? I, I wonder which one it is. There seems to be a lot. Oh, forget it. I'll take them all and have Shin pick. <laughs> That's not going to be suspicious at all. The, hey, why did you bring so many? Whatever, let me see. Uh, psychology that even a gorilla could understand. No, that's yours. <laughs> oh, is it? History for whales. Easy. <laughs> what the heck is with these books? <laughs> Easy modern literature for hyenas. Classics for birds. Why do we have books for animals? Is this some sort of animal series? Math that even. <laughs> <laughs> okay, again, I had to cut out some laughing because this one just made me laugh too long. Math that even a kiwi would understand. That's the one Kent made. I wonder why he chose a kiwi. <laughs> it was Kent! <laughs> 100,000 practical English words. Ah, oh, that's it. Actually, if we had bothered to read the titles, we probably could have figured that out. Well, thanks for letting me borrow this. I didn't know which book would be good to use, so you did me a huge favor. But, a hundred thousand vocab words? They're basically asking us to memorize the whole book. Whatever. Later. See ya. Yeah, see you at work. Kiwi! August 20th. Morning! It's warm today. Maybe I'll go to Meido no Hitsuji and stop hiding out in my apartment. As a customer, right? I guess that'd be pretty nice for a change. Well, let's change and get going.
Oh, welcome back. Oh, it's the manager. Oh, sweet. You've come to see us even on your day off. Shin and Toma are over there. It's surprising. Toma seems to be troubled today. Toma is troubled? I wonder what happened. Let's go ask. Man, a letter these days. That's rare. Why didn't you give her your email address? Well, no, you see... Who cares? Why hide it? It's not about hiding. That's not the issue here. I... Hey, it's Darilli. What? What are you hiding? Hey, guess what? Toma just got a love letter from a regular here. Oh, <laughs> he's teasing him. Don't be mean, Shin. Shin. <laughs> Our regular? You mean Ukyo? <laughs> of course, we're not going to ask that, but... <laughs> Ask him if he got a regular a, a love letter from Ukyo. <laughs> like, Ukyo is our only regular, come on. We just have Ukyo on the mind, I guess. You sure are popular. Oh, man. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna save because I have to see what he says. Um. What kind of joke is that? You can be a pretty random girl sometimes. I wonder if she's a high school student. Worst case, it's... Okay, that's all he said. That wasn't... That was not worth it. Oh well. You sure are popular. And not just her. I just looked through his phone, and his contacts are filled with girls' numbers. Hey, don't look at my phone while I'm using it. I wasn't trying to snoop or anything, I just happened to see it. But man, it's extensive. I thought he was Iki for a second. <laughs> it's not like that. I'm just good with people, so I'm easy to talk to. That's, that's definitely true. But your personality is terrible. What? Seriously, I wonder what they see. What are you talking about? He's a nice guy. Well, it's your fault for making them see that side of you. Well, I'm not going to deny that. But that doesn't mean people I've known for a long time like you should misunderstand me. Misunderstand? Well, why don't you just get a girlfriend? Well, yeah, eventually. I'm just too busy with studying, so I can't really get in that mindset. Oh, both of you. Be sure to tell me when you get a significant other, all right? Especially you, Darilli. Why especially me? It's my dream to take your hand and walk you down the aisle on your wedding day. Aww. What is her dad going to do then? <laughs> Shin's face. <laughs> um, will my dad meet an unfortunate accident right before the wedding? Fine, I guess I'll have to settle with yours. How serious are you? They're really close. Even though they're bickering, they still seem to be having fun. Oh! Toma, my clothes are wet. What? We were playing in the water, and we got wet, right, there, really? Oh, you guys. You two will get you cold. Let's go over to my place then. Both your moms are chatting with my mom at home. Hold my hand. Okay, Shin, hold my right hand. They really hold my left. Let's go home together. It's so cute. Whoa, this is a pretty old memory, huh? From when you guys were kids. And those kids with the tiny voices are... Of course. You guys. And you're all grown up. What is this weird feeling? Now I know why Toma feels like an older brother to you two. What are you staring at? Nothing. Don't, don't answer for me. August 21st. And here is where we are going to insert our break for the day. Because Ukyo's plethora of bad endings is too long to fit into one video. So, if you want to see the rest of his bad endings, you can tune in tomorrow to see the rest of those. And then after that, we will be reading all the extra stories. So, thank you for joining me today. I hope to see you in some of my future videos. And I'd be so grateful for any likes, comments, subscriptions, or shares with your friends to show some support. And I wish you all health, happiness, and safety. They're really signing out. Bye-bye, everybody.